Batwabu, beautiful people, Batwabu. I had to finish writing myself a little note there for today's reading. All right, Sammy, Sammy, Sawi, Bona, Batwabu, Batwabu, all of those are greetings. All right, beautiful people, 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 people. Today it is Monday, y'all. We halfway through the month of July already. Yibo, Sawi, Bona, Tiffany. It is July the 13th, 2020, day 197 of reading through the books of instruction and the prophets. All right, today we are in Jeremiah 40, 41, and 42. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Jeremiah chapter 40. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Before I get started, I feel it already. I feel like yeah, frog in my throat. <clears> throat> Sometime in the morning, I had to talk and say stuff just to kind of make sure my voice is clear and it's not cracking and stuff. So, but anyway, let's get started. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 40. The word that came to Jeremiah from Yahuwah after that Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had let him go from Ramah when he had carried away captive of Jerusalem and of Judah, which were carried away captive unto Babylon. And the captain of the guard took Jeremiah and said unto him, Yahuwah thy God hath pronounced this evil upon us. Now Yahuwah hath bought it and have done according as he has said, because ye have sinned against Yahuwah and have not obeyed his voice. Therefore this thing has come upon you. And now, behold, I loose thee this day from the chains which were upon thy hand. If it seem good unto thee to come with me into Babylon, come, and I will look well unto thee. But if it seem ill to thee to come with me into Babylon, forbear, mean, go ahead and stay. Behold, all the land is before thee, whither it seemeth good and convenient for thee to go, thither go. Now, while he was not yet going back, he said, Go back also to Gedaliah, the son of Ahiakim, the son of Shaphan, whom the king of Babylon hath made governor over the cities of Judah, and dwell with him among the people, or go wheresoever it seemeth convenient unto thee to go. So the captain of the guard gave him victuals and reward, and let him go. So this is Jeremiah. So the captain is pretty much telling him, telling him he said you know what everything that you have spoken it has come to pass y'all has blessed you you told us the truth so listen look you go wherever you want to go if you want to come back to babylon with me i'll be sure to look well after you but if you decide not to go with me then stay here matter of fact go to get elias house he'll keep watch over you you know so i just kind of summed it up real quick all right verse six then with jeremiah unto gedaliah the son of ahiakim to mizpah and dwelt with him among the people that were left in the land now when all the captains of the forces which were in the fields even they and their men heard that the king of babylon had made gedaliah the son of ahiakim governor in the land he had committed unto him men and women and children and of the poor of the land of them that were not carried away captive to babylon then they came to Gedaliah to Mizpah, even Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, and Johanan, the, Johanan and Jonathan, the sons of Cariah, and Sariah, the son of Tenhumeth, and the sons of Ephi, the Netalathite, and Jezaniah, the son of Mech, the son of a Mecha, Mechathite. Sorry, y'all. I know I'm screwing it up. I am. I really am. They and their men, and Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, swear unto them and their men, saying, Fear not to serve the Chaldeans, do well in the land, and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. As for me, behold, I will dwell in Mizpah to serve the Chaldeans, which will come unto us. But ye gather ye wine and summer fruits and oil, and put them in your vessels, and dwell in your cities that ye have taken. Do I need to walk back for that truck? Do I need to go up to my house for the truck? It's it's one skid between nine and one. From from um. I think it's Eagle Group. No, from up the street. From um, from up the street. I if it know. is, I called and I told she called me and told me and I told her I could pick it up since it's right up the street. But make sure you know where it's from. It's okay. Bars, not bars, but regular Over there. Likewise, when all the Jews that were in Moab and among the Ammonites and in Edom and were in all the countries heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant of Judah and that had set them over Gedaliah, the son of Ahiakam, the son of Shaphan, even all the Jews returned 
out of all the places where they were driven and came to the land of Judah to get a liar unto Mizpah and gathered wine and summer fruits very much. Moreover, Johanan, the son of Cariath, and all the captains of the forces that were in the fields came to get a liar to Mizpah and said unto him, Dost thou certainly know that ba Baalus, the king of the Ammonites, has sent Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, to slay thee? But Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, believes him not. Okay, I will. Then Johanan, the son of Keria, Keria spake to Gedaliah and Mizpah secretly, saying, Let me go, I pray thee, and I will slay Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, and no man shall know it. Wherefore should he slay thee, that all the Jews that are gathered unto thee should be scattered? Love you too. And the remnant in Judah should perish. But Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, said unto Johanan, the son of Keria, Thou shalt not do this thing, for thou speakest falsely of Ishmael. We about to see if he was speaking false, that he might should have listened to his friend. Jeremiah chapter forty one. Now it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael the son of Nethaniah the son of Elishama of the royal seed and the princes of the king, even ten men with him, came to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam to Mizpah, and there they did eat bread together in Mizpah. Then arose Ishmael the son of Nathaniah, and the ten men that were with him, and smote Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, with the sword, and slew him, whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. Ishmael also slew all the Jews that were with him, Brad, even with Gedaliah at Mizpah, and the Chaldeans that were found there, and the men of war. And it came to pass the second day after he had slain Gedaliah, and no man knew it, that there came certain from Shechem, from Shiloh, and from Samaria, even fourscore men having their beards shaven and their clothes rent and having cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hand to bring them to the house of Yahuwah. And Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, went forth from Mizpah to meet them, weeping along as he went. And it came to pass as he met them, he said unto them, Come to get Eliah, the son of Ahikam. And it was so, when they came into the midst of the city, that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, slew them and cast them into the midst of the pit, he and the men that were with him. But ten men were found among them and said unto Ishmael, Slay us not, for we have treasures in the field of wheat and of barley and of oil and of honey. So he forbear and slew them not among their brethren. Now the pit wherein Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men whom he had slain because of Gedaliah, and it was it which Asa the king had made for fear of Baasha king of Israel and Ishmael the son of Nethaniah filled it with them that were slain then Ishmael carried away captive all the residue of the people that were in Mizpah the residue or the remnant of the people who were left there okay I'm like, what's taking them so long to pull off Okay, then Ishmael carried away captive of all the residue of the people that were in Mizpah, even the king's daughters and all the people that remain in Mizpah, whom never Nebuzar Raban, the captain of the guard, had committed to get alive, the son of Ahikam, and Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, carried them away captive and departed to go over the Ammonites, to go over to the Ammonites. But when Johanan, the son of Kerah, and all the captains of the forces that were with him heard of all the evil that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, had done, then they took all the men and went to fight with Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, and found him by the great waters that are in Gibeon. Now it came to pass that when all the people which were with Ishmael saw Johanan, the son of Kerah, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, then they were glad. So all the people that Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah, cast about and returned and went to Johanan the son of Cariah. I'm sorry y'all they, they keep coming they backed up and keep coming in now they must have forgot something <laughs> look like Bella peeping out the window I'm sorry y'all okay they pull him back off again all right then to Johanan, the son of Keria, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, all the remnant of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, 
for Mizpah after that he had slain Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, even the mighty men of war, and the women, and the children, and the eunuchs whom he had bought again from Gibeon. And they departed and dwelt in the habitation of Cheham, which is by Bethlehem, to go to enter into Egypt because of the Chaldeans, for they were afraid of them, because Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, had slain Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, whom the king of Babylon had made governor in the land. Last chapter for the day, y'all. 22 verses, Jeremiah chapter 42. Then all the captains of the forces, and Johanna, the son of Cariah, and Jezaniah, the son of Hoshea, and all the people of the least, even unto the greatest, came near. And said unto Jeremiah the prophet, Let we beseech thee, our supplication be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto you, who was our God, even for all this remnant. For we are left but a few of many, as thine eyes do behold us. That you, who is thy God, may show us the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. I'm like, now, now y'all want to obey. I've been telling y'all all this time. Y'all has been trying to get y'all attention. Now you want to you find a path to walk in now? Now you want to see? That Yahuwah, thy God, may show us the way wherein we may walk and the thing that we may do. Then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray unto Yahuwah your God according to your words. And it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing that Yahuwah shall answer you, I will declare it unto you. I will keep nothing back from you. And then they said to Jeremiah, Yahuwah be a true and faithful witness between us. If we do not even according to all the things for which Yahuwah thy God shall send thee to us. So they saying, listen, we saying, y'all going to be a witness. Whatever he says to you, we promise we'll do it. And if we don't, he's a witness. I'm like, why would you even say that in the first place? If you ask and we're about to see. Verse 6, whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of you who are our God, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of you who are our God. And it came to pass after 10 days that the word of you who came unto Jeremiah, then called he Johanan, the son of Cariah, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people from the least, even to the greatest. And he said unto them, Thus saith Yahuwah, the God of Israel, unto whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him. If ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you and not pull you down, and I will plant you and not pluck you up. For I repent of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom you are afraid, and be not afraid of him, saith Yahuwah, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. I will show mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you and cause you to return to your own land. But if ye say, we will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of Yahuwah, your God, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Egypt, where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread, and there we will dwell. They are absolutely fearful of the king of Babylon, whom they have heard for many years, who was coming to take them. Now that he's there, um, the ones who are already not dead and taken captive, but this is a remnant of them who are still there, who had come back from the mountains and stuff when they heard that Gedaliah was reigning that he was a nice ruler from Babylon. They were coming back and they was bringing their wine and all that stuff and they was living in peace. But now that Gedaliah is dead, now they are afraid again. You know, so they was like, listen, Jeremiah, ask what we need to do. You know, whatever y'all say to do, we're going to do it. You know, so, but they, it's like, they can't get out of their own heads and their own reasoning because what Jeremiah is telling them goes against everything that their instincts is telling them to do. Like, we need to run from the king of Babylon or he's going to kill us. But Yah said, if you obey my voice, he will soften the heart of the king of Babylon that all may go well with them, right? Okay, listen. I read verse 11 again. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, saith Yahuwah, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. And I will show mercies unto you that he may have mercy upon you and cause you to return to your own land. But... If ye say, we will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of Yahuwah your God, saying, no, but we will go into the land of Egypt, 
where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread, and there we will dwell. And now therefore hear the word of Yahuwah, ye remnant of Judah. Thus saith Yahuwah of hosts, the God of Israel. If ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt and to sojourn there, meaning if you just completely decide not to stay here and go into Egypt, which I told you not to do, then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye feared shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt, and the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt, and there ye shall die. So shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there, that they may die by the sword, by famine, and by the pestilence, and none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. For thus saith Yahuwah of hosts, the God of Israel, or the God of Jacob, the God, the mighty one of his people. As my anger and my fury have been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured forth upon you, when ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall be an execration, and an astonishment, and a curse, and a reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. Then Yahuwah has said concerning you, O ye remnant of Judah, go ye not into Egypt. Know certainly that I have admonished you this day, for ye dissembled in your hearts when ye sent me unto Yahuwah, your God, saying, Pray unto us, Yahuwah our God, and according to all that Yahuwah our God shall say, so declare unto us, and we will do it. And now I have this day declared it unto you, but ye have not obeyed the voice of Yahuwah your God, nor anything for which he have sent me unto you. Now therefore know certainly that ye shall die by the sword, and by famine, and by pestilence in the place whither ye desire to go, and to sojourn. And that, my beautiful people, is our reading for today. That was Jeremiah 40, 41, and 42. We're on day 197. It is Monday, July the 13th, 2020. All right, let's go ahead and do the blessing, which is found in Numbers. Where? That's right. Chapter 6, verses 22 through 27. And Yahuwah spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, May Yahuwah bless us and keep us. May Yahuwah make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May Yahuwah lift up his countenance upon us and give us his peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. All right, beautiful people. I will see you bright and early in the morning. Peace.